This is your source for breaking news. Hawaii News Now at 10. Some die-hard Hawaii Five-O fans camped out on the beach for more than 30 hours waiting for tonight's red carpet premiere. Our Ben Gutierrez caught up with the stars of the show in Waikiki. Despite the heat and the humidity, fans came out for the fifth season premiere of a show that apparently has as much staying power as they do Hawaii Five-O. Hawaii Five-O's cast and crew turned out for what's become an annual tradition, drawing fans to watch the first episode of the new season. No, it never gets old, and, and I think this year is a, a special year because we're celebrating not only season five, but our 100th episode, and that's a nice milestone. We happen to be shooting it as we speak, so um, it's uh, it's nice to be here for that. Just getting through the first season is tough, but making it this far, now you go out, you know. Bang out another hundred, why not? Yeah. Grace Park wore Versace to the beach and was awestruck at how many fans came out for the event. Oh my goodness, I can't even see how far it goes. I've probably only seen a couple thousand so far, there's probably eight more thousand down there. It also doesn't get old for a new regular character played by Jorge Garcia, who also worked in the islands on the TV series Lost. It's just so great to come out here and work on television. It's just, I love that it's, it's away from everything, and it's, it's and, and the fact that like so many in the crew are people I already know. It also was a celebration of Hawaii itself. The setting producers say, is a large part of the show. I think we went into this thing with the right, with the passion, with the, with, with the belief that uh, we were going to do something that honored the original. We did it for the right reasons, and we're here after 100 episodes maybe because of that. And it's a series that has attracted fans, not just from Hawaii. Just such a wonderful, entertaining show, and I love Hawaii. I think they do a great job. Um, with the scenery, emphasizing this gorgeous scenery. We've got to thank the people of Hawaii, and I really want to be, I really want to come forward and just say, without you guys, we can't, we can't do it. We would have nothing. If you weren't able to be here tonight for Sunset on the Beach at the premiere, you'll have to wait until Friday, September 26th to see what it looks like. Reporting from Waikiki, Ben Gutierrez, how about you news now? The Rainbow 